Hi, this is Beth Ivers with Discover Art Studio. Today I have a project for you that is super fun, easy, and can be done with supplies that you probably already have at home. We're going to be making some cute little puzzles out of popsicle sticks. So let's get started. I'll be going over the supply list. You can gather your things. And remember that since it's a video, you can stop pause or rewind this video at any time and take this project at your own pace. Have fun. Okay, let's get started making our popsicle stick dinosaur puzzles. You're going to be needing these things. First, some popsicle sticks. These large ones work really well. I'm going to be using seven for my puzzle. Each of these used six. You can use as many as you want. Some kind of tape. I'm going to be using masking tape. Tear off two pieces of your tape that are about six inches long. They need to be long enough to go across the whole width of your puzzle. Tear off two. Before we get started putting the color on our puzzles, make sure that you cover your working area with a plastic tablecloth, some newspaper, maybe a grocery sack. I'm going to be doing my puzzles with acrylic craft paint. And I'm going to use these colors. You can also do your dinosaur puzzle with watercolors, markers, tempera paint, or crayons. Because I'm using acrylic paint, I'm also going to need a paper towel, some brushes, any kind of brush will work fine, and a cup of water. This is what we're going to do first. I'm going to move these out of the way and take your popsicle sticks and line them up side by side. We also want to make sure that they're lined up this way. So what I do is take an extra popsicle stick and push it up to the bottom till they all touch and now I'm sure they're nice and in line. Once you get your popsicle sticks all lined up, take one of your pieces of tape and place it kind of in the middle, but a little bit towards the edge and stick it down and press it on firmly. We're wanting to tape our sticks together so they stay in one big piece while we're making our picture. Take your other piece of tape and do the same thing on the top. Because this is a video, remember that you can stop it, pause it, or rewind it anytime you want to take a break or see a step over again, or take a little more time with what you're doing on the project. Once you get your popsicle sticks taped in place, we're going to pull it up and turn it over. And this is the start of our puzzle. The first thing that I'm going to do is paint a background. I want to make my background kind of a pretty bluish green, and so I'm going to do that first. If you're using acrylic paint, we just want to take our brush and dip it in the water just to kind of wet it, dab it off on your paper towel, and then take whatever color it is that you're going to be using for your background get it nice and full on your brush and we're just going to paint 
the background with nice long strokes just to get it covered really quickly. Now, once we get our background painted, we're going to want to let it dry so the dinosaur color doesn't get all mixed up with the background. You can stop the video right now and wait for your background to dry, and then we'll get together again when we're ready to start painting our dinosaur. Well, my background is dry now, and I'm ready to start painting my dinosaur. I think I want my dinosaur to be yellow, and so I have a nice sunny yellow right here, and I'm going to take my paintbrush that I've rinsed off really, really well in my cup of water and use this yellow to paint my dinosaur. If you want, you can take a pencil and draw the outline of your dinosaur on first. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I am going to kind of sketch mine in with the paint as I go. We're just going to paint what we call a silhouette, and that will be just the shape of the dinosaur without the details first. We'll do those later. And so I think I'm going to make a stegosaurus this time. And so I'm just going to start in the middle with this nice sunny yellow and just sketch in the shape of my dinosaur. He has a nice tall round back. and a tiny little head. You can see that with this yellow paint, at least, I'm going to be letting this dry and putting a second coat on it so it's nice and bright and yellow. Now I have a couple of coats of yellow on my dinosaur. I think he's looking pretty good. I want to add just a little bit more to the tip of his tail here with a smaller brush. So it comes to a point. There we go. And then I'm going to start adding the details of the stegosaurus with the scales on his back. And I'm going to do that with some purples. I think that'll look really fun with the yellow. You, of course, can do any kind of a dinosaur you want and use any colors that you want. So to make the scales on the back of this dinosaur, I'm just going to make some simple curved shapes, just like that. One right after another, and then I'll fill them in once I get them finished. So they'll be biggest on the very top of his back and 
I think I want them to be pretty tall just so they show up really well and take up some of the space on the top of my puzzle. And you can do yours however you like. So I'm just going to do a few of these shapes. And then fill them in with a purple paint. I'm going to get smaller and smaller with the scales the closer to his head I go and the closer to his tail I go. Okay, so let's work on these and then we'll go to the next step. Now I'm going to add a little bit more purple to my dinosaur just on the very ends of his feet. Just a little stripe. And I'm going to do all four feet. And then once I do this, I'm going to add just a few spots on his back that I think will be fun. Remember that you can pause or stop or rewind this video anytime you want. and also that you can do your project any way that you want. It's your art and your ideas, and your ideas are awesome. Okay, so there's his little feet. And now I'm just going to add a few spots to his back. So a little more paint. And you can make these however you want. I'm just going to put a few. Just touch the end of the brush to his back and just press down a little bit. Makes them about the size that I want. They don't need too many. And they can look however you want. There. And now it's time to add his face. So in order to do that, I'm going to do the eyes first. And you can see on these that I just did a couple of round circles with the white paint. And how I like to do that is to take my white paint and the very back of my brush, the wooden end, and just roll it around in the paint a little bit, kind of tap off some of the excess, and then I just come over here to my dinosaur and give him two eyes. And 
the back of this brush just makes a nice round circle for me. And you can make it as big as you want. We'll add some black here in a little bit, but we want that white to dry first. Okay, we're getting really close to being done and ready to do the outline and stuff on our dinosaur. And so at this point, I'm going to want the scales and the spots and everything to go ahead and dry. And so you can pause your video and let's let our projects dry and then we'll come back and work on the black outlines for our dinosaur. All right, my dinosaur is pretty dry now and I'm ready to add the black outline details for his body and his scales and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that with a regular Sharpie marker. And I'm just going to go around the outside of all of the shapes. It's very easy. I'm going to take a couple of circles around the white part of his eyes. Just like that. And then I'm going to add some round circles in the middle. For his eyes go over that again here in just a second. And now I'm going to give him a cute little smile. And go around the outside lines of his whole body. And then also around these scales and just outline all of the shapes of your dinosaur however you made him and then we'll work on the final steps. Now we're ready to finish up by adding the numbers across the bottom of our puzzle. I'm just going to use a small brush with some white paint, but you could also write them on with the Sharpie or another marker, or you could do it with a crayon. And I'm just going to start over here and number them across, starting with one, And two here. If you like, you could also write it on here with a pencil first. They don't have to be perfect. I kind of fix them a little bit as I go. And three. And we'll do four, five, six, and seven, or however many sticks you ended up using for your project. And you can finish going ahead and 
filling in your numbers now. Then go ahead and pause the video. Okay, now I've got the numbers on my puzzle and I'm ready to take the tape off the back and take it apart. And so you can either wait for your puzzle to completely dry or just be careful that you don't touch the wet parts of it. And we're just going to remove the tape from the back of the puzzle. So there's one and the other one I'm just pulling it off the back and now the puzzle will be in seven different pieces the paint is making it stick together just a little bit right now but after it completely dries it won't do that anymore and so here is my puzzle all taken apart and then when you match the numbers up or match the picture up, you can put it together the right way. There we go. Just about. And there it is. So I hope that you had fun doing this puzzle with me today. I love doing these. I think that they're really cute and really fun. And you can also think of a lot of different pictures besides dinosaurs that you could do these puzzles with. So thanks for joining me today. And I will see you next time.